Hello everyone, long time no see, and um, I'm sorry. Christmas time in retail is horrendous. Um, I don't care who tells you that it isn't, it is horrendous. So um, I'm really sorry about Vlogmas, but I don't need to say any more. I'm just really sorry about Vlogmas. <laughs> and let's start the new year. <laughs> um, I hope you had a lovely um, Christmas and New Year, so a, a wonderful festive season, and that you had a lovely time with your family and you, you received lots of lovely gifts and yeah. I hope you had a lovely time, in short. I hope you are well. Sorry if I had lipstick on my teeth there. And I thought I would get back on the bandwagon, as I say all the time, and try and film my What I Got For Christmas 2014 video. Because I realised, I was looking back at my channel, and I've done this video for the last two years, so I was like, I can't miss out on a What I Got For Christmas video, because actually it's really helpful to look back. Because um, when you forget what people got you the year before, you're like, oh yeah, let me just... Um, run on my laptop for a second Ooh, and see what they got you <laughs> so anyway I guess I have to do it the disclaimer I'm not bragging I you know I'm totally 100% um, grateful for everything that I receive um, for at Christmas at birthdays you know for everything um, and I just thought I would show you guys because believe me they are my favorite videos to watch so first things first, I'm not going to show everything I got for Christmas because it was a couple of weeks ago and I've probably eaten the majority of uh, what I got and if I haven't eaten it then it is probably safely away or safely being used quite quickly um, so yeah, let's just get going. So I've got gifts from friends and family and so, so I guess I'll start with what's at the top of my pile and they're these two. These two are from one of my best friends, um, Lizzie. I have a lovely... Um, OPI nail polish, it's like a white iridescent glitter in Happy Anniversary and my favourite candle of all time which I actually have burning up there um, and it is Fairy Dust by Lily Flame. It just is an amazing smell and I, I have spoken about this so many times on my channel. I've been told that this is the scent of Disney World or Disneyland so yeah. Fairy Dust and OPI, so thank you so much um, Lizzie, I love them. And I've already worn the nail polish like three times. I've just taken a, a bit of a vampy day today, as you can probably tell. So a present that Santa got me was this. And if you're from the UK, or if you've had a look online and seen the Sainsbury's Christmas advert for the Christmas Just Gone, 2014, you would have seen this um, in the advert of um, the First World War uh, football game. And this is the chocolate bar that they exchange in the fit in the um, advert and all of this all of the profits from this chocolate bar go towards the British Legion which is the poppy campaign um, and it's all part of the advert and things so yeah Santa got me one of the chocolate bars because it's just a really lovely sort of keepsake um, to be part of that advert and things thanks Santa I haven't eaten it yet this one has set has been saved a present from my boyfriend's family that I actually haven't worn as of yet but I love is this which is um, C'est La Vie. It's a t-shirt from Brandy Melville and I love, love Brandy Melville. And actually I wanted to buy this shirt myself, um, but I didn't. I think I picked it up and then I put it back because it was really busy or something or other in London. Um, but my, my boyfriend's family got it for me for Christmas, so I'm really, really happy. And I'm definitely going to be wearing that um, when I next have a day off and I don't have to be in black all the time. Speaking of black, my brother got me a black item of clothing this Christmas. Um, he actually had a um, Christmas temp job at All Saints, so um, he became a real fashionista. And he bought me this shirt from All Saints, and I think it's called... What's it called? I say I think it's called, I have no idea. It has a name, and I'll pop the name of the shirt if you're interested in the um, description box below. And it's basically, it looks like a really plain black shirt, but it actually has mesh detail on the cuffs. Let me just show you if I go in the side here. I don't know if you can see my hand, but this area from here to the cuff is mesh. And then the hem of the shirt is actually asymmetric. And so it just looks so cool, like with a, um, you can it's long enough to just wear it with tights. And I just love it. I think it's such a lovely piece. It's all silk and yeah. I absolutely love it, so thank you, Luke. As well as that, my brother got me a joke present, so I thought I'd put this in there as well. I say joke, I have used it seriously. It's one of these, and I'm sure it was the... Sorry, I had lipstick on my teeth. <laughs> I'm sure it was the present of the year. It was the selfie stick, and I just love it. I love it. It's just so good for days out as well. <laughs> Not just for taking selfies, but for taking pictures of things, and you can't get too close. Like, it's such a good tool, um, so thank you very much. 
I got a DVD, like most Christmases, and this year it was Saving Mr. Banks, which was about the making of Mary Poppins the film, and um, I loved it. I love Tom Hanks, and any film that Tom Hanks is in, I'm like, yep, yeah, I'm watching it, I'm happy. And Emma Thompson, I really like her as well, and I thought it was such a lovely film. I did cry, so I guess that says that it touched me in the heart. Loved it. The CD this year was Ella Henderson. Um, both of these are from my mum, or they might have been from Santa, but technically that is the same person, but you know. Ella Henderson was on, if you don't know, was on The X Factor a couple of years ago, and she was my favourite contestant, and probably has been my favourite contestant ever. Um, yeah, and I absolutely love her voice. If you haven't heard her sing before, then um, type in her Ella Henderson Believe, and it was one of her auditions on X Factor, and it was just insane, like an amazing cover of Cher's Believe. And if you'd like to hear one of her originals, um, my favourite is yours. Another few presents for my boyfriend's family is this really cute, it's on my work keys actually, um, Radley Keyring, this little leather doggy. Um, this perfume from, or body spray, what do they call it, a body mist um, from Body Shop, oh, um, and that is in pink grapefruit, which is amazing because I'm such a citrus fragrance lover. That was a really long sentence to say. And also from Body, the Body Shop, the sparkler all over shimmer, which I love, but I've already managed to make it explode. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my whole room is covered in glitter, but I love a bit of glitter. My boyfriend, however, does not, but I do. More presents from Santa, and you might think these are a bit strange, but you'll you'll understand in the long run, so hold in there. Um, one of them, oh, it's got chocolate on it. One of them is this shake, um, sort of porcelain thing, sifter, and I guess you put um, either cocoa or um, uh, icing sugar in it, and then you shake it on top of cakes and things, so it's one of those. I got one of these, which is a small measurements a mini measure it's called and it measures teaspoons and tablespoons and ounces and millimetres millilitres, not millimetres um, of items so it's really good if you're making a small amount of something and then I got these, I'm such a lover of copper um, last um, sale times I bought a load of copper pots which are in my loft when I actually move out because I just love copper things um, so I have a copper heart cookie cutter a copper star cookie cookie cutter and a copper copper cookie cutter just cookie shaped can I stop saying things beginning with C because it's getting very difficult to speak and I also got this this is from my grandma as well as a loaf tin but I didn't bring it up um, from my kitchen this is a spring release tin and it is like an old-fashioned enamel look um, yeah you'll see why keep keep tuned keep tuned I didn't just get a baking tin well, I did, but it's part of something. I guess to carry on the theme, I got three books this Christmas. I am a massive um, Bake Off fan, British Bake Off, and it's basically a competition um, where every week they have like, 10 bakers that they start with, and they have to bake three items per week, and then they become a, a, the best British baker. And it happens every summer, and I absolutely love it. So I have um, Paul Hollywood's Bread. I have The Great British Bake Off, The Big Book of Baking. And I also have Mary Berry's How to Cook. Again, all will become apparent soon. My boyfriend completely spoiled me this year and got me these. Now, what is this, you might ask? Well, if you have very good eyesight, you'll be able to read this. And this says bows. Um, now, we went on holiday to Santorini this year. And I have a problem about being late for things. Um, about airplanes and trains I get really really anxious so if we have a certain time then I want to be there five hours before because you never know what's going to happen so we had quite a lot of time to um, kill at the airport so we were looking around all the shops looking around all the bits and bobs and one of the shops was I think it was a Comet or a PC World or something and we were listening to all the headphones and I don't have or I didn't have any headphones that weren't just the Apple in-ear ones and we tried a pair of Bose headphones, noise cancelling ones, and they were insane. Like you turn the noise cancelling thing on and you cannot hear a thing. It's like white noise gets played into your ears and it's like, what's happening here? And so he really, really kindly um, treated me to the headphones that we had seen. Oh, I've got a wire in my face. And even without the noise cancellation, they're really amazing. Like. I could sleep on an airplane with those and be like, 
what's going on? So yeah, they are awesome and they're plugged into my really old HAP. Uh, I don't even know what generation this is. But remember these? These are iPod Nanos and it's orange and it has a camera on it. And I don't even know if they make the camera anymore. But anyway, these are amazing and thank you so much, Joe. A massive present from my mum was this. Ah, and it's a scarf from my favourite brand of all time. Um, and it is Mulberry. I have been after a mulberry scarf in the longest time, like years and years and years. I've been eyeing them up, but they always, always sell out around Christmas time. And I really wanted a grey, but they sold out of the grey, and so my mum got me the brown, and I didn't know anything about it. So I opened it up on Christmas Day, and I was like, oh, wow, I love it, but it's not the grey. But actually, I tried it on, and I thought, bloody hell, my mum is amazing, because actually, I love the brown. It's so much more, like interesting I think than grey and it's just a, it adds a it adds just more colour and I think it suits me more um so yeah I love this love this scarf <laughs> and um oh I think the colour is called a it's called Brecken Brown and um, as for the style I'm not a hundred percent sure usually I'm really good with the names but it doesn't say but it's a hundred percent extra fine Murano wool or merino wool and um, I will put um, in the description what the name of the style is but it's gorgeous it's got big mulberry trees on it and it's reversible but I think that just makes it so much more sort of extra dimensional when you wear it because you've got the two different colours there yeah love it love it thank you mum before I get into my massive, massive present, I'll quickly remind you guys of the things I bought myself for Christmas, because as I did last year, and I probably did the year before, I buy myself a Christmas present every year. Last year it was a major, it was my Mulberry Bays Water, um, which I will be doing a video of its, its year-on video, if that makes sense, because I did a review and then what's in my bag and then how it's getting on, so I'm going to be doing a year of a year of use review, if that makes sense. And this year I decided not to buy myself a Mulberry bag. The only reason because the shop that I work in didn't actually have the bag that I wanted. The particular bag, so I didn't buy it. Obviously. Um, so I thought I'd buy myself some littler things. And actually in the end the littler things, <laughs> I got quite a few of the little things. But two major things I've absolutely loved um, from myself for Christmas is this, which is the... Oh, no. Wrong way around. Um, Filofax original in the neo, oh, neo, no, fluoro, fluoro pink, um, I think they call it, and it's a bright neon pink leather, and yeah, I've always wanted a Filofax, and I used to have one when I was really young, um, like a child's one, but just so you can see, yeah, I wanted to treat myself to one, my favourite colour is neon yellow, um, but neon pink is my second favourite, so it's really loud, it's really bright, but it's really, it's just me. So yeah, I love this. And just to go with it on the pink theme, I got myself um, Chanel Chance or Tondre, which is the pink version because they have a yellow, pink and green. And it's gorgeous. Now, on to the big, the big daddy, the big one. Um, this was my main present from my mum and I thought the scarf was my main present, but this was my big one. And I have been hinting, I have been drawling, I have been loving this item for the longest, longest time. Um, but I live at home, so I never ever thought I would get one until I bought one myself when I'd moved out. Um, but my mum was so, so kind to, you can probably even see it, right here, was so, so kind to get me one. And that is, I'm going to go pick it up. Ugh, what is it done? Oh my god. <laughs> one of these which is so so heavy it is a KitchenAid Artisan I believe it's called KitchenAid Artisan model 5k SM150 if you're interested and it is in the pistachio green which is the light green oh my gosh I'm going to have to put it down oh oh good god <laughs> they are so heavy um and I absolutely love it. Sorry if I've changed position or whatever, but my battery just ran out, which was so annoying. So I had to quickly charge it up. But I was just finishing on saying that my KitchenAid, which is just here, probably just out of shot, was my biggest present and I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to get some time off work so that I can make pizza bases and cakes and God knows. So next time you see me, if I'm the size of a house, you'll probably know why, because I've, I've cracked out the KitchenAid. <laughs> God, could you imagine? Oh, hello everybody. Have we done lots of cake today? That'd be really nice though. 
just saying. So yeah, that's everything that I got for Christmas, well mostly what I got for Christmas. Um, I'm sure I got other things, I got other cooking items, I got a voucher, or a couple of vouchers, I probably got some more books because it was a very booky Christmas this year. Um, but it was amazing and I love spending time with my family, it's my favourite, favourite thing to do. Um, I love having time off work, but I'm sure everybody feels the same, <laughs> so that was really nice. Um, so yeah, I hope you had a lovely time. I'm, it seems like absolutely forever ago, and I'm sorry it's taken me so long to get this video out. Um, I did buy my file effects, so I try and be better at, at time managing, but um, we'll see how that goes, eh? <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, have a lovely, lovely, I guess it's too late to say New Year, but I hope you have a lovely New Year, and I hope you've had a lovely New Year. Um, and let's get this ball rolling, and let's make a video every week, Alice. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's try and do this. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for rambling. Um, I've hope you had a lovely Christmas, as I've said, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching.